Hey everybody, this is Alan Paul here doing the Weekend Anomaly mission. We're just going to go ahead and do a short recording today. Uh, I want to get that done and see what it's all about. Uh, I've seen a couple people taking a peek at it, so I figured it'd be a good time to do it. I missed it last weekend. Very sorry about that. I had a couple other things coming up and uh, just never got a chance to even do the Anomaly mission on my own, on my regular save. So we're going to go ahead and do it today. I'm also, uh, I'm rocking the older... Uh, cape here and i understand the other one's been unlocked so i want to go ahead and check that out too while we're at it so let's go ahead and uh, jump in ship get out of freighter and head off to said anomaly gotta pull that sucker in uh, a little too low to the atmosphere aren't i yeah okay let's get out a little ways there we go do this one more time hey there space ball Let's check out what's going on today. Now, I'm going to do something real quick. I don't always do this, but why not? There we go. Let's turn on the multiplayer and see who's around today. Look, people. Ew. Yeah, I know, I know. Alrighty, let's see what's going on. It looks like a lot of people are rocking solar ships these days. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look at them all. It's funny when you look at somebody else's solar ship. It always it always shows with the uh, uh, what do you want to call them pontoons, if you will, sticking out, so you can see what they kind of look like a little bit. But your own is always fully seated. Eh, don't get that. Let's check it out over here real quick. I just want to see if I can get this uh, new cape. Uh, let's see. It's going to be up. Oh, there it is. There it is. 3,000. Yeah, I got to build up my Quicksilver stash. It's time. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go check that out in the uh, appearance modifier, aka dressing room. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I needed a void egg. All right, let's see what we got here. Backpack. Titan Worm 1 is what I'm doing right now. Let's see what it looks. the new one looks like with my color scheme. Oh, 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 oh. that actually looks pretty dang good. I think I kind of like that. Oh, look at that. Now, there's been speculation. I'm going to state it here for, for the first time. That the, the white, if you will, the silver, the glowing area right in the center here is like a living ship inside of a living frigate. I don't think that's the case. I think that's a living freighter. Living freighter. Now, I don't know if anyone else has said that yet. You may have heard it for the first time here. I don't know. I'm really thinking that's a freighter, not a frigate. What does that mean? It may mean that our next expedition may be to get a living freighter. It seems to be the next evolution and how things are going in No Man's Sky. So I think that's the way we're going to go. So yeah, I'm going to keep this sucker. Wow, that's that's pretty sharp, man. I don't know if I like it as much as the Titan one, but I'm going to rock it for a little while. So the Titan Worm one was pretty cool. This I kind of like better. So let's go ahead and go with this. All right, let's see what the anomaly mission's about. Whoops, there we go. What happened? Malicious foliage. Okay, we know what that's about. It gives us 1,800 Quicksilver, so let's go ahead and... Oh, and also War Piper Core. That's very sweet of them. I'm going to start that mission, and yes. All right. Let's get over here, see where we're going to end up. What planet we'll be on. I've seen some previews. I think I saw Captain Steve, I think it was earlier. He was doing a live stream, and I think he was on this really uh, god-awful planet. Uh... These planets that have the extremely steep mountain ranges that are just, they go up to almost space at this point, you know, where your, whole, your solar sails are still uh, fully out there while you're still in the atmosphere and trying to land. It's just really ridiculous. So, all right. The Maishi Arturo system, Euclid Galaxy. As you know, I'm in the Isentum galaxy for the most part. That's where I like to hang out. All right, where are we at? Oh, to the right. 
which is to the opposite direction I start to go in. Here we go. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and reorient myself. Hollow of the Depths. That's a really interesting name for a character. Very nice. I just want you to know, Mr. Hollow or Mrs. Hollow of the Depths, I'm not following you. Uh, Anomaly Brush Ranger. Okay. Unknown Planet. Dawag 81V6. Well, it's got a pretty good engine in it anyway. Indium. Ah, we're in a blue star system too to boot. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what we get. On our way into the atmosphere. Now, if this gets a little bit boring along the way, I'll go ahead and pause the video and pick you guys up as I destroy floral hazards. Now, as you can see, it's always going to be... You have to find a um, traveler's grave first. Yep, that's the planet I thought it was. So we try to kind of look around with our radar at the top to see if we can find... Oh, right here. Son of a biscuit eater. I cannot believe I found the grave right like, just like that. Wow. Okay, got lucky on this one. All right, winds from beyond. Interesting. Frequent, abundant, and rich. Okay. 203 degrees. A little balmy. Snagged around the ankles. Piercing thorns. Completely unaware. We reduced the numbers, but... The fallen traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. Okay, so... Obviously, that's what we're doing. We're killing stuff. Now, some people will use weapons to get rid of them. Uh, that's okay. You can do that. If you can find yourself a cave, that's even better. It looks like I have one right there. If you find yourself a cave, you're going to usually find some nice hazardous uh, flora, uh, flora in the cave. Let's see here. Yeah, that's a little stronger, I think. All right. Storm clearing, huh? Let's see if we have a cave around here real quick. Ooh, got beetles here. Look like white ones. Take a look at them later. Kind of nice looking. All right. Now that things have cleaned up a little bit, we could see. Let's take a look around, shall we? Cave would be great. But look, it looks like a cave. All right. Why do we want a cave? Like I said, we find usually a lot of hazardous flora in here. Always look around, see what you can find. You look at them, they start spewing gas. Yeah, it's all right. Let's see. Oh, there's one right there. See? Really? So that's two. That's three. See? See how quick that is? And if you can find more of them around here. Uh, let's see. Is that actually one up there? Or is that on the surface? I think that's on the surface. Looks like there's one right there, too. I don't know. Nope, that's above. Okay, never mind. All right, we have any more gas producers? Let's turn on my lights. There we go. There's one. There's another one. We got four. Anybody else? So this might go a little bit quicker. Hey, there's a bunch right there, right on the ground. How many are we up to? Seven, just like that. So yeah, little tip, find a cave. A lot quicker to get them that way. I think we cleared out the cave for the most part, so if we go up to the surface at this point, I think we're good to find a few extras. And back the other way. Yes, there should be a few that were sitting right here, I think. Now, if it says that too weak for distance to estimate, in other words, it thinks that they're too far away, you know what it is, it's just that they haven't populated on the landscape yet. Just go a little further away. Travel like about, you know, 20, 30 clicks as far as your jetpack will take you, and you will find another one. 
See? Look at that. Right that. See? Not really that far away anymore, is it? There we go. That one's gone. So that's eight. Who else we got? Still thinks it's too far away, huh? All right. Let's head downwards a little bit. The hydrogen and it looks yellow. That's kind of crazy. Hey, guess what? I found another one. All right, so this is going to be kind of a short one. Gone, and one right in front of us. That should be ten. Mission complete. Good deal. And there's another one right there, right in front of us. Um, for those who aren't familiar with these things, these crystals over here, just to show you real quick. are very very handy if you're somewhere where you don't really have a lot of cash you haven't really developed a lot of units yet on your own you're gonna get glowing minerals from these things every single time it's worth taking them out because those glowing minerals turn into other things I'm just gonna take a few because what you'll get from those is there we go I still haven't emptied out my inventory don't, don't tell anybody so, even though they're worth pretty good on their own, four of them are worth 13000 open every one up. And you will get some nice things out of it. Like, I got a crystal sulfide out of it. Again, by itself, it's not worth a whole lot, but it's worth it to build certain things. You got gold nuggets. They get you gold. See, I just built up all my gold in my inventory as well. You get tri a tritium hypercluster. You could get a whole bunch of other things as well. So, that would be pretty cool. Um, I got a crusty radiator in here. I got to fix a car somewhere, apparently. Got to talk to someone about that. You know what? I'm not going to. Wrong button. I will get it right. I'm not going to go ahead and fly up there real quick. Let's pull my ship in. How about here? How about here? Here? Here's it? Can't tell. It's not glowing green because of the color of the sky and the uh, atmosphere here. It's really causing us to look very strange at everything here. That is the weirdest looking upside down squid I think I've ever seen. It's like he's dusting the pavement with his head. Anyway, not important. Let's get out of here. Back to the anomaly. So, I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to go ahead and get our prize. It's a pretty quick one. Like I said, my suggestion is always try to find yourself a uh, cave to get into. That's a lot easier, a lot quicker to get what you need out of a cave. Pulling the anomaly. Off we go. So this will net me an extra 1,800 Quicksilver for the day. Plus it adds to the... What do we want to call this? To the community research. So we can get the next tier, the progress in this. The more we research, the more of these we get. We can get up to tier 3 and we can unlock an additional collectible. Which uh, we can look in there and find out what the collectibles are that we can get. So, here we go. And that's it. Of course, it's got to park me at the furthest parking space. Not sure why. And on a mission complete. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the Anomaly mission. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a very, like I said, a pretty short video today. We just wanted to go over that real fast for you so you know what you were to expect. And pretty much the easiest way to go about taking care of it. So, to all you travelers out there, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you wish, if you like the content. And by all means, throw a like on there, add a comment to it. I always like to respond to every one of my comments. It may not be in the most timely fashion, but usually within 24 hours you'll get a response from me. Thank you very much again for watching. And hey, why don't we throw in a gesture and say so long. Take care, everybody.